Build the Bairn, this is episode 12, and today we'll be back on our Scottish Cup journey, at home to Celtic, a couple of week games, and probably have a youth intake coming, so quite a nice episode here, and it's a nice landmark as well, because it's just going to be right before the split happens, so this will be the second last episode of this season, so let's hope it's a good episode. Now, to start things off, I think we'll go and have a look at the schedule, and talk about what happened last time, so... Last we were here, we were here for uh, Ross County double fixture here, these five games. Off camera wasn't the best session. Again, the injuries are happened again. It's just that, as you can see from actually this game, we've got Coyle still out, Diego's just, just not himself, and obviously Kenny's not available for this one. Before that, we were running in a similar match. We also got a good team, we just didn't do good at all. I don't know what happened. We just won not in the game at all. Uh, we took the lead. They scored before half time. Then Lama more scored than that. So it's stunning winner. So it was an unlucky game. But games that get will cost us. But for where we're on the league now, I think we might be safe for a European spot. Next game for the start of March, we went to Aberdeen and lost 2 1. All the goals came in early on. And again, Sack got injured. Just didn't they feel good. We were, we were we were bad. This that's all I can say. We were bad. There was no other word to describe it. We just didn't play well at all. Then we played Rangers at home again. Rangers dominated us. Two injuries in this game and the pitch. Devin came on and scored. Nice round the keeper goal, but it was just one too late. Then we played Livingston where thankfully we picked up a 2 0 victory away there. Devon scored again and then Bayern McKay. So today we'll have Celtic, Hearts, St. Johnson. And Marlborough, we'll so we're finishing off this closing season before the split and potentially in a uh, Scottish Cup. But we've had the draw already. As you see, Rangers got put out by Aberdeen. St. Johnson, Queen's Park made it through. And then in the next round, if we're able to beat Celtic, we'll get Queen's Park. So this is, if there's ever a chain for Volker to win this and win a cup, this is the easiest running I've ever seen. And it also pants me if, if we beat Celtic, or Celtic beat us, then they get to the final and they lose. If we're in third place, we don't get a Europa League playoff, I think. But this, I think this gives you Europa League guaranteed. So if we don't win, we need Celtic with it. So let's get into the game. I'm already at game day, so we're going to have a look at the lineup. So I'll just double check if it's correct before we go in. Yeah, I think it's all right. Okay, so line up the day will be Jamal and Net, Johnson, Sack, Sean, and Fernandez. Actually, we're going Mackey left back. Right. Midfield of McGrandos and Bidon. We've got uh, Mackay and Allen and the wings. And then we've got Devin and Valencia up front. I'll see if one of the game starts. It's game day here. It's Falkirk versus Celtic in the Scottish Cup. We've won. The Celtic game here at our stadium this season. Can we do it again? We're long through here. Devon into Mackay. Johnston. Tackle but still wins the ball. And the ball into the box. is not able to do it. Mackay does win it back. Sean to Devon. Gets out wide to Allen. Puts it into Valencia. Who's headed for the Mackay. And the Bairns lead here. Oh no. It's Falkirk 1. Celtic 0 here in the Scottish Cup. Six minutes in. What a start. Could this genuinely be our blessing here? Turnbull free kick is... Uh, been not caught but kind of blocked by uh, the goalkeeper and it went into the box but Celtic unable to do anything for my fit and that was the end of the highlight now another highlight here throwing this led Celtic into attack and they have scored the ball eventually played through to Bruno on the left side whose volley gets past uh, Jamal and Celtic are back in this game 1-1 one, one. that's right in the Scottish Cup fit now oh and there are chances here as Maeda passes it to Abada on the wing. Finally goes to Josip who puts it in a tumble but short hits the post. And end of the highlight there. Celtic now actually kind of taking control of the game. It's kind of making me a wee bit scared here. Chance here Celtic point out the midfield to the defence back to the midfield here is McGregor. 
Oh, they're playing very nice football, I can't even lie. It's fair, I got food in my either, but he's not able to do anything. Um, I'm not going to get the punt. Oh, wait a minute here. Corner. Screen clear back out. Byron to Allen. Oh! Oh, what a bonner that is. The ball been put into the middle and McGregor has put it into his own net. It's Falkirk 2, Celtic 1. That's unbelievable. I can't believe that. That's such a shocking OG from Celtic here. Still on a good rating though for a man who has just put us up in the lead here, so that's interesting, but eh, two one up. Let's just try and get the game in like this now, please. Going here for Celtic. McGregor does get it into a bad eye, I'm not gonna lie, I thought it was offside there, but apparently not. It's now Falkirk two Celtic two. Good back post header, but it did look offside to me. You know. Don't foul, don't foul, we're done. Abada picks up the ball. Goes to Josip Hayden. You know, like, no, Williams, William, Wilson, sorry, has took an absolute belt of a long shot and has put in to the bottom corner. That's now 3 2 Celtic here. Celtic are heading through the next round. Another highlight for Celtic quite quick here. It's, I think it's hey, Isaac Kaiden's head is out of the bar and then bounced over the bar from the rebound. It's all Celtic now. Ever since we've took the lead, they've absolutely pounded us with attacks in it. I'm going to make a couple of subs, which just highlights done now. The corners being cleared out by Sean. Wencher picks it up and the highlight ends. Hmm, can't even make, really make a striker sub. Uh, let's go my Grandos in for Alex Wolves, see if uh, the own, own Rangers man can do anything. Uh, and let's do... Oh, you know what? He's not my great. Give me bring Fernandez on for Maka. I think that's what we'll do. I would love to bring Diego on, but if he just keeps picking up injuries. It's just not helpful at all. But you know what? See for the last get injuries. He's got. He's got a. I. I don't even give a donkey anymore. About the injury, you can just come on for the last 10 minutes. This is going to backfire so much for me, but I need something when a striker's doing not doing good at all. Jamal gets a punt here to Valencia. They are away, but we do pick it up here. Valencia puts it through Diego. The injured man scores! Tactical genius, I am Jose Mourinho. It's Fifi. Free -free. Come on! I don't know what happens if this game, if an injured draw goes to, if it goes to extra time, good, but if it doesn't, it's because I've replay at Celtic Park, I will probably lose that replay. So, we are looking for a winner here or edge of time. It's, Alex always been played down the left here. It's Alan now. He now takes it into the wings. Valencia has had a, a bar. So unlucky. Falkirk now woken up now since they've got that goal. Maybe a two late. It's in the 94th, 95th. It is edge of time. If there's a chance for us to beat Celtic, is it in our own ground? So let's keep playing here. We've got another sub I can make, but I don't know who we would take off. Maybe sack off McKenna. That's what I'm kind of thinking of now. But I'll take him um, sack off for the uh, half time of extra time. Which is now, and I'm going to pause it instantly. And I'm going to bring on McKenna just so I don't want sack injured. I still want to do good in the league here. I'll you instantly, though. Falker. It's going for Sean. Dad, unable to win the header there, Diego. They're an awful guy out, we do on the attack here's Diego. He turns his man, he gets it into Valencia, head over the bar again. Oh, it's unlucky. And we're heading close and closer to a penalty shoot. I would favour ourselves in a penalty shoot here. But we do have a good penalty shoot streak on this channel. It may not matter here, Celtic if a highlight. That's a great chance to shoot if oh my god. I don't know what noise I've just made there, but that's Utterly disgusting how you've scored that. That's hard bacon. Ah, uh, that is so annoying. Oh, such a lucky team, man, they play against an FM. I hate them. NC your folk at three, Celtic four. The only positive about the game is, is that they are tired, I guess, for the league, so we're gonna, we've got a game in how long? Six days, so I'm going to go and rest that start and I'll play the extra time there yeah, for two days. And I'll see you if I uh, the next game or the youth intake. And we are back, and you can see for me, Bills, youth intakes here. I've not looked at it yet. 
Here's a live reaction. Oh my god. That's a good gen. We've got a two star left back already. Oh, oh, David. Can you play left back? I feel like you're bit No, you wouldn't be a good centre back. I like him. You need to obviously get some of his stats up, but he's got something to him if he's that. Wow. Good start. All right, and then we've got five players here. All right, let's start off with the top end goalkeeper, Scott Stewart. Yep, just what you'd imagine for a one star goalkeeper. It doesn't look too bad. He'll go very nice into the reserve team. Now, this person here, next two, one's a centre mid slash right mid left mid. The other one's a right wing. Both two and a half of Eddie's actually three of them here. Left wing back as well. So, we'll start off with Gordon. Yes, I can see why he's, a, he's got a centre mid in on that. He's, he's a good player. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. This is good. I like this. Okay. He's got good passing. Teamwork. Yeah, I like him. He, he might get actually getting looked at. Now we've got another one here. Graham Fraser. Oh, oh he's a guess. <laughs> he's good though, by the way. I like him as well. Cross is not by good dribbling, good first touch, good technique. He's got the kind of pace already there. He's only 50. That's still got time to develop. That's a good player. And the last two are, we're going to leave for two and a half to the last year, so we've got another player here, it's Chris Johnson, he also looks quite good actually. Wow, these are good players, and then we've got Scott Weir, he's a left wing back. Uh, he's not got a crossing enough, yeah, he would need some work to him, but he could also work quite well. Uh, we've got Oscar, we've got a Portuguese guy in came for the academy. Actually not that bad as well. One, he'd be quite good for my tactic for the back post. Uh, Andrew here, also not bad as well. Centre back here, please be tall. Six two, God, he's good as well. By the way, oh wow, this is, a, this is an incredible intake. James here and Steve, yep, he's good as well. All game player came through. It doesn't look actually none of them look that bad. This, this guy came, seems to be the top talent. He's very good. Good mentals. This guy might actually get put into a team a wee bit quicker than expected. I'm going to offer just uh, these six players' contracts. You know. So I'll offer these players' contracts. I'll see you for the next game against Arts. Welcome back to game day here at the Falkirk Stadium for the Hearts match and here is the team sheet. We are rocking Jamal and Nett. Back four of McKenna, Sack, Sean and Fernandez. Midfield duo of McGrandles and Byron. Wingers of Mackay and Valencia and up front we've got Kenny and Diego. I'll see you for when the game starts. Let's kick off here at the Falkirk Stadium. It's Falkirk versus Hearts. Game day here, heading to the last couple of games of the actual open season before the split. And as you see from the table in the corner now, Celtic do to the top. Uh, Rangers are second, we are third. So it'd be nice to keep that third place spot. Just beg Celtic can actually win the cup so we can keep it. Because if we do land Europa League playoff, it means we're guaranteed football next season in Europe. So that's kind of the, the main plan and now. But we're not secured it yet. We still need to try and get a couple ones under our belts here. Let's so try and create something now. Unable to, it's been cleared out. It's Sack here, McKenna, Mackay. Try to get a wee chip pass at Diego, but Valencia picks up the loose ball. Valencia then runs and just keeps running and then slots it in the bottom corner. 1 0 Falkirk. It's a very strange goal, but well done, Valencia. The Baron's lead here. I also think as well that I might give. If I'm not tired because they're still playing under 18, so I might give some of the youngsters a run if the season just genuinely over and there's no up or down for us. As our ball's been put through by Bayern McKay and Diego has managed to base it around the keeper and slot it in. He's came back from injury, he's finally found that spark of football again and he's scoring goals. It's Falkirk with 2 0 here against Hearts. It's Diego now. He's went really, really wide here and he slots it into Kenny, who's also scored. It's now 3 0 Falkirk. What's going on? 
The bins are smashing hearts are now. This is a fantastic result. As head to the half time, it's Falkirk fee. Hearts no. Unbelievable. I cannot believe the score now. And the kick off is setting half here. What can more? We now base at 11 points clear of uh, third place. That's, that's brilliant. The long throw's been caught by Jamali, punts it all the way up to Kenny, gets ahead, it goes to Diego. Ah, oh, trying to get one, two there, is unable to. And McKenna wins the header back, heart scout attack closed as Kenny, no, oh, by Mackay again, plays that long through ball for Diego, who's just put it in the goalkeeper and scored. Fantastic. 4-0 Falkirk. A Kai header there from the quick highlight. It's just instantly caught by the goalkeeper there. The main highlight comes starting now. As Sean's unable to get the header, he's completely missed it. And the striker goes on through, but is unable to do anything with it. Keeper saves it, goes out for a corner. And the header goes over the bar for Hearts. Now we have a corner, Mackay. Into Sean. In the scores. It's 5-0. This is a dismantling now from the Bairns. Hearts getting ripped to shreds now. Absolutely brilliant performance. It's a great bit of form to pick up just before going to the split. Another highlight here, hoofball from Falk. It's been caught up tidy by a defence of Hearts, but now we counter attack again. Now it's Kenny's through. He's made it six. Oh, what's six still up after 70 minutes? What's going on? And we're going to make some now because we're quite clear to date. We'll bring Coyle back on for his. Uh, Long term injuries now back point. Uh, we'll bring on Alex Lowry swapping my bide on, and that's what we're going to do because I still don't trust the, the whole getting an injury or a red card. See if they can add it into the game, but and it stands now we're winning 6 now. This has been a great match today. Fantastic game. Great performance for the team. As it's going into the closing minutes and it ends here. Falkirk 6, Hearts 0. Great performance, great result. Well done, lads. Truly happy of that there. It's good to see Diego scoring again. He's been unlucky this season of injuries. Yep, alright. With that game done, I think we've now got how many games left until the split? We've got two left, St. Johnson and Marwell. So I'll see you for St. Johnson away. Welcome back to the game day here. It's away to St. Johnson. And the Falkirk lineup is going to be Jamal and Nett. Lewis Coyle returns from injury in the back four of Oyo, Sean, Zach, and Fernandez. We've got Alex Lowry and Bidon, or Bidon in the midfield, we'll let's swap them around. Then we've got Mackay and Valencia in the wings, and they've got Divin and Diego up front. I'll see if one of the game starts. And it's kick off here at McDermott Park. And the first I'll go to St Johnson's have a throw in. It's played in here. Ah, and it's Freddy. It's took a shot. Tries to go against his old team there. He's got unlucky. It's hit off the post and bounced away. Cleared by Coyle. Let's see how Coyle does his first game back. He's not seen him since probably, what, the first episode? Been a while. Corner here for Falkirk. It's in for Sack. It's half off the bar. Back out uh, by Devin to Bidon, who has crossed it and it's been cleared out for a corner. Corner's taken by Mackay and it's head over bar by Sack. I win here, I think, in my opinion. Again, Aberdeen have got the game in hand, but it would put us in a good position, especially with St. Johnson being in that kind of up next to Mackay corner. And to Sack, it's 1 0 to the Bairns. They lead here in Perth. Fantastic goal from the big fella there. Good cross from Mackay. Mackay's been an actually fantastic player for us this season. I'm very happy I chose him in the end. To bring in his cheaper wages and the guy where we were peeves were going for, and he's been absolutely bloody brilliant for us. Let's all have a highlight here. Sack to Wolvey. And it's been put through by Biden to Devin, who's scored. He's got a kind of wee goal. He's quite good at He's quite good around the keeper. It's kind of coming something that he does. Another highlight here now, Coyle. It eventually crosses it in. Oh, it's, I thought it was in for a second, but it's went over the bar. So I'm lucky if it was Devin's header, it went over the bar. And the Bairns lead half time 2 0 here. Just get a, a tell when I'm a static performance. If you have an instant highway. Alex Wolvey. Ah, oh, Mackay always is it now. It's now it's St Johnson here. A penalty for St Johnson for a tackle. Sacks went into to kind of include the ball. It was the last man, but I would say a tackle looked good. Thompson steps up here and scores for St Johnston. A good, really good start for Johnson. St Johnson here in the second half. 
try and get something out of this game. See if the lads can just keep their heads on straight here and get this result. And nothing really happening now. It's been quite quiet. As it's coming to 70th, I think I'm going to make a sub here. I think we're going to go for. Uh, looking at the bench, I think we'll go for Diego, swap him for Lenta, and then we'll bring on Allen in the wing. I think we'll take. Mm, bring Mackie on. Fernandez. Mackie's actually. Might not show his current ability, but he's been very good for us this season. He's actually been quite a good servant to the club. Very happy how he's played. And St. George have a highlight. That's absolutely fear. Try to get wide. Coyle's unable to win it. And it's finally went into David. It's 2-2. Two -two. Do not know where this comebacks came from. We've had no highlights in the second half. That fight, I feel it'll just go for it now. With Mackie and Coyle up. With Alex and Wally up as well. I don't want to play as a... Yellow point with this. And I'll put Alex Wally as the shadow striker. Let's see how this goes. I'm needing something now. Mackay here for Falkirk. He's went wide. Pass it to Coyle. Back to Mackay. And Falkirk was the ball here. St. Johnson now looking for a winner. It's Fede. Oh, and his shot's been wide. That would have been a sick nerve here. I don't know where St. Johnson's got this comeback from, it's absolutely just stunned me. Not happy at all with that performance. I knew we are heading to the last game, looking for the second last game, or was it the last game? Last game here against Marlboro, we're looking for a win. Just to try and end this before the split nicely, so I will see you for the well game. Hello, welcome back to the last game before the split. Talk about this Marlboro and the first team sheet is a wee bit different this time. We've got Jamal and Nate. Then we've got Coyle, Sean, Sack, and Harper starting. And Joyce and Biden. We've got Fraser and Flint in the wings. And then Kenny up front. Actually, we're going to change that. Div Divin up front with Diego. So, two youngs, I think, a debut here. Joyce get another shout in the team. So, I'll see you for when the game kicks off. And it's kick off here at the Falkirk Stadium. It is the well. Travelling to the Bairns in a game where the last game of the season actually technically before the split it's the last time we'll see one of these teams in the bottom half so let's, let's end it with a wee bit too here this is a chance to get a good wee three points for it come on let's do it everybody else is playing an open day even Aberdeen's getting beat now which is good for us as Joyce wins ahead of here it's Fraser what will you do here he gets out to Coyle oh, back to Joyce here to Biden to Valencia the Devin, it's hit off the post, but I think yeah, he was offside anyway. It's unlucky. Coyle here. To Joyce. Back to Coyle. Joyce. Coyle. One, two to each other. It's now Coyle gets the ball whipped in. Try to get to Valencia back post, unable to. And then now Marwell looked to attack here. Johnston. I think that might be Mikey Johnston. And attack was fizzled out there, but they do have the ball all the way back to the goalkeeper here for a while. They're trying to get something out of this. If I do, Johnston does find a way through. And it's a very nice chip there for more away with 1 0. Mikey Johnson, nice wee chip over Jamal. Not happy with Will so, but I'm playing a few youngsters, and it is the last game, obviously, before split, so we'll see how it goes. But with Aberdeen now on 9 point pinders, I'm starting to get a wee bit squeaky. What you'll hear to Joyce. Let's get back to the Valencia. What a cross and what a header from Valencia. It's 1 1 now. Get in there. Fantastic goal. That's it for some youngster as well. Happy to see him doing well there. Let's put it back as a on the level now. As uh, Aberdeen are drawn there, see. Hearts will be making the playoffs that stands in now. They're drawn in the derby. I don't think we can actually make it in general. I'll be peek about that in a second. After I've done the team talk. That's how we look, so... 42. Yeah, no, they're, they're, they're out of the playoffs. It's between Hibs, Mimmon and St Johnston. Biden gets it into Sean. It's 2-1 to the Bairns. We take the lead this game. A good cross in from the corner and a great header from the big man defence. Fantastic start to the second half. We're 2-1 up and it's good to just be winning when the youngsters out. Happy to see them doing well. Heading to another corner now, actually. 
I watched Sean again, it's hit off the bar this time. So unlucky. Doing fantastic now. As we're pushing ever so closer to the right you minute. Excuse me. Biden's cross into sack, it's just went over the bar. I'm actually going to make a couple of subs here. Yes, we are going to do Kenny for Diego. And we'll do... We'll give, we'll give Graham uh, Fraser a time to come off. He's had his debut in Big Brother McIlwain for the last couple of minutes. A good, good debut for both of them. I've not done anything, but it's a proud moment for him. They won't forget this moment. Oh, we'll get past back to Archers now, back to Falk. Joyce try to get through Devon, not able to. Both his head has been put back to defence of Falk. Now Falk at the play out here. Up to Kenny, unable to. Valencia wins the defender's head. Oh, it's been switched to Mackay. Mackay's wide. Get into Kenny in the bar. Over the bar from the header. It's unlucky there. And our highlight here. It's still time for an equaliser here with what's left in the clock. Coyle puts a tackle in. No way. Wolfie, ah, it's been saved by Jamal, I think it was offside anyway, yeah. But it's a couple of seconds left now, actually over time. Falkirk will kick, kill slash free kick. Poofed up, and that's it is, Falkirk will win here against Waterwell. It's a 2-1 victory, fantastic from the Bairns. 1-0 down, will come back and win it, and now see who's in the split. What about uh, David Harper here, and Graham Fraser, who made the two debuts. Day and this is the championship group for the draws. It'll be Falkirk, Aberdeen, Celtic, Hibs, Rangers, St. Mirren. A pretty tough group, tough group indeed. So let's see how the fixtures are laid out for us. Okay, so we've played Celtic a lot on camera, so I think we'll play the first two. And I think we end the season with Aberdeen, Rangers, Hibs. I think it's a nice one to end it in. So yeah, if you enjoyed this episode, thank you very much for watching. Leave a like, it'll be utterly appreciated by me. Subscribe to keep yourself entailed in this Falkirk save and other videos on the channel, tips and tricks. Uh, just fun wee ideas I've got planned, so we'll get them out soon. And comment, and I'll have a gander through and read it and see what everyone's got to say. But tomorrow will be, not tomorrow, the next episode will be the season finale. So... We'll see if we're in Europe, but it stands now we're doing good. So I'll have a look at the group now. So we're third place and now. I would say that if you want at least two of your games, we're talking. So we might even have it done by the time we're, we are back. But with the two games we've got, the playoff camera, which is Celtics, one of them, and St. Mary and I, we could do it, but we never know. So find out what happens in the next episode. I will see you there. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.